Hi guys! In today's tutorial, we are going to make an amigurumi mermaid. So if you want to know how I did this, please keep on watching. Happy hooking! The materials that we need are the following. Green, skin toned yarn, and red yarn. These are all cotton yarn. You can also use acrylic yarn if you want to. We will use 3 millimeter crochet hook, toy stuffing, safety pin as my stitch marker, needle, scissor, safety eyes for dolls, and this is optional, pipe cleaner. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. First, get your skin tone yarn and then your 3 millimeter crochet hook. Then we will make a magic ring. And this is how I make my magic ring. And then chain off one. Now we will make six single crochet inside the ring. One. Two. three, four, five, and six. Now, Pull the tail to close the circle. Now we are done with round one. And then place your stitch marker at the last stitch. So we will make a continuous round. No need to make a slip stitch. Now round two. We will increasing all the way around. Increase means we will make two single crochet in each stitch. One, two. So at the end of the round, we should have 12 single crochet. Now, round three, we will make one single crochet in the first stitch. And in the next stitch, we are going to make an increase. So in this round, round three, our pattern will be one increase all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 18 single crochet. Now, round four, we will make one single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. And in the third stitch, we are going to make an increase. So in this round, round four, our pattern will be to increase all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 24 single crochet. Now, round five, we will make 
one single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and in the fourth stitch we are going to make an increase so in this round round five our pattern will be three increase all the way around so at the end of the round we should have 30 single crochet now round six we are going to make one single crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four and then in the fifth stitch we are going to make an increase so in this round round six our pattern will be four increase all the way around so at the end of the round we should have 36 single crochet now round seven we are going to make one single crochet in the next five stitches one two three four and five and then in the sixth stitch we are going to make an increase so in this round round seven our pattern will be Five increase all the way around so at the end of the round we should have 42 single crochet now we are done increasing so next round round 8 9 10 11 and 12 we will make single crochet all the way around for five rounds so at the end of the round we still have 42 single crochet so guys i'll get back to you once i'm done with my five rounds of single crochet now we are done with our five rounds of single crochet next round round 13 we will make one single crochet in the next five stitches one two three four and five and now we will make a decrease here in the next two stitches invisible decrease So in this round, round 13, our pattern will be 5 decrease all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 36 single crochet. Now, round 14, we will make one single crochet in the next 4 stitches. 1. two three and four and then invisible decrease so 
So in this round, round 14, our pattern will be 4 degrees all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 30 single crochet. Now, round 15, we will make one single crochet in the next 3 stitches. One, two, three, and then invisible decrease. So in this round, round 13, our pattern will be 3 degrees all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 24 single crochet. And then I will add toy stuffing of cam. Okay. Now, round 16, we will make one single crochet in the next two stitches. One. Two. And then invisible decrease. So in this round, round 16, our pattern will be two decrease all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 18 single crochet. And add more toy stuffing. Now, round 17, we will make one single crochet in the first stitch. And then invisible decrease in the next two stitches. So in this round, round 17, our pattern will be 1 decrease all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 12 single crochet. Now, round 18, 19, and 20, we will make single crochet all the way around for 3 rounds for the neck of our doll. Okay? So at the end of the round, we still have 12 single crochet. So guys, I'll get back to you once I'm done with my three rounds of single crochet. Now, round 21, we will make one single crochet in the first stitch. And then in the next stitch, we will make an increase. So in this round, round 21, our pattern will be one increase all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 18 single crochet. Now, round 22, we will make one single crochet in the next two stitches. One. And on the third stitch, we will make an increase. So in this round, round 22, our pattern will be to increase all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 24 single crochet. Now, round 23, we will make one single crochet in the next three stitches. One. Two. 
two, three. And then on the fourth stitch, we will make an increase. So in this round, round 23, our pattern will be 3 increase all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 36, I mean we should have 30 single crochet. Again, 3 increase all the way around. Now, round 24, we will make one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And then in the fifth stitch, we are going to make an increase. So in this round, round 24, our pattern will be for increase all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 36 single crochet. Now, we are done increasing so next step, we are going to make the arm partition. So we are going to fold our work on this and then get your stitch marker. So first, we are going to count this. Oops. So first, we are going to make the arm partition. So we are going to count here, as you can see, the increase. So for, for, fold your work like so. So the stitch marker should be on the side, not on the center. Okay, so it should be on the side. And then count. Here is your first increase. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the second increase. So we are going to place our stitch marker on the eighth stitch. There. And then let's check to the other side let's remove this first let's check one that's the first increase one two three four five six seven and eight and then place your stitch marker at the last stitch. So in each arm partition, we should have eight stitches. Okay. Now we are going to make the body. So we will make single crochet all the way around. So let's count here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, 
नाइन टेन इलेवेन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी सो वी हैव ट्वेंटी स्टिचेस फॉर द बॉडी सो नेक्स्ट राउंड So this will be around twenty-five. So we will make six more rounds of single crochet. Okay. So in total we have seven rounds of single crochet. So round twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine. We will make single crochet all the way around for five rounds. Okay. So I'll get back to you for the next step. Now guys, we are done with our 7 rounds of single crochet. Again, 7 rounds, not 5 rounds. So now, we are going to change yarns to yellow yarn. So this is my last stitch. This is how I change my yarns. There. And then we will make single crochet all the way around for round 32. Single crochet all the way around. So at the end of the round, we still have 20 single crochet. So guys, I'll get back to you once I'm done with this round. Now, round 33, we will make an invisible decrease in the next two stitches. And then we will make one single crochet in the next seven stitches. And by the way, guys, I also add toy stuffing of cam. So again, seven single crochet. One, two, three. I mean eight, eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, invisible decrease again.
and then eight single crochet. So in round 33, we should have 18 single crochet. So next round, round 34, we will make single crochet all the way around. So at the end of the round, we still have 18 single crochet. Now, round 35, we will make decrease in the next two stitches. Decrease or invisible decrease. It's up to you. And then seven single crochet. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then invisible decrease again. And then seven stitches. I mean seven single crochet. So at the end of the round, we should have 16 single crochet. Now, Round 36, we will make single crochet all the way around. So at the end of the round, we still have 16 single crochet. Now, round 37, we will make again invisible decrease in the next two stitches. And then, six single crochet. One. three four five and six now invisible decrease again And then again, six single crochet. So at the end of the round, we should have 14 single crochet. Now, round 38, we will make single crochet all the way around. So at the end of the round, we still have 14 single crochet. Now, round 39, we will make again invisible decrease. And then five single crochet. One. Two, three, four, and five. 
and then again invisible decrease. And then again five chains, I mean five single crochet. So in this round, round 39, our total single crochet should be 12, okay? Now, we are done decreasing. So next round, round 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46, we will make single crochet all the way around for seven rounds, okay? So guys, I'll get back to you once I have my seven rounds of single crochet. Now guys, we are done with our seven rounds of single crochet. So next, we are going to close the hole by doing single crochet in both loops. There, one. And then chain of one and then fasten off. Now we will make the mermaid fin or the tail. So first we are going to make a slip knot. And then chain off five. One, two, three, four, five. And then single crochet from the second chain of the hook. Single crochet. Single crochet in the entire row. One. Two, three, and four. Now turn our work and then we will make one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, oops, three. And in the last stitch, we are going to make an increase. So in this row, we should have five single crochet. And then turn our work for round three. We are going to make an increase in the first stitch. Increase. One. Two. And we will make one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. So for row three, 
we should have six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then turn your work. Row four. We will make one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, oops. four, five. And in the last stitch, we will make an increase. So in this round, I mean in this row, we should have seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then turn your work. Four, five, six, seven. Row five, we will make an increase in the first stitch. One, two. And... We will make one single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, And six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in this round, round, so in this row, row five, we should have eight single crochet. And then turn our work. Row six, we will make single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We will make one single crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then in the last stitch, we will make an increase. So in this round, I mean in this row, we should have nine single crochet and then chain of one and then fasten off. Now, we will just do the same thing by inserting your hook in the last stitch here. Where the four single crochet are. So we will make four single crochet. So we will just copy this one. So, so we will make one single crochet in the next four stitches. So the first single crochet, I will insert the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, Three, 
and 4. And then, turn your work. And then next, one single crochet in the next 3 stitches. 1, 2, three and then in the last stitch we will make an increase one two so in total we should have five single crochet and then again turn your turn your work and then increase in the first stitch one two and then four single crochet here one single crochet in the next four stitches so in total we should have six single crochet now we are going to sew the tail here so first, we will fold here, Oops, sorry. there and then get your doll and then we will sew it like that okay so this is the front and this is the back as you can see the joining of the yarn i mean the changing of the colors and then insert at the first stitch Here. So we will just going to insert in and out, in and out.
Now we are done adding the fin. So next step will be the arms. So get your skin toned yarn here and then we will insert in the first stitch. And then chain of one. Chain of one doesn't included in the count. So now we are going to make one single crochet in the first stitch here. So as you can remember, we have eight stitches here. So we will make stitches uh, or we will make single crochet all the way around so one two three four five six seven and eight and then place your stitch marker so now we are done with round one so we will make 11 more rounds of single crochet so for the total of 12 rounds okay so guys i'll get back to you once i'm done with my 12 rounds of single crochet so i will do the both arms of cam okay so i'll get back to you for the next step now guys i'm done the other arm so next step i'm going to show you on how i add this pipe cleaner you can also use wire or toy stuffing if you want and then insert
and then get your needle So now guys we are adding the arms so next step I will just make the hairs and the face of cam so I will just glue it later like this so I will just glue that off cam and then I'll get back to you for the final look okay now guys here is the final look of our amigurumi mermaid i have a tutorial on how to make this hair so i will put the link down in the description box for your reference it's very easy to make guys i hope you will give it a try and if you find this video helpful Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And don't forget to click the bell button to be notified. Again, thank you for watching guys. Bye!